All right, and as far as the tarp goes, $11.76. This one has the reflective coating on it. All right, Let's see what size it is. It's 86, 86 inches, or 83 inches, sorry, by 59 inches. This is a variation of the old, you know, string a string a rope between two trees, and give yourself a tent over the top of a hammock uh, idea. Except using the bike, um, you want to angle, depending on which way the wind is going to be coming in or whatever. If you expect any weather, but the tarp's 83 inches, so it should. You know, if you're six feet tall, you should fit under there fairly well. Obviously, this is not some kind of some kind of uh, long-term shelter or anything like that. This is this is uh, a mountaineering version of a bivy sack, where you're stuck on a you're stuck on a mountain. You gotta you gotta hunker down for the night. So basically, a few bungee cords, stretch it around. Your, every bike's going to be a little bit different. Um, could put a couple of, you know, could put a bungee cord here to really stretch this side of it. Got nice venting, obviously. Uh, you could use a second tarp for a floor. Uh, one thing I don't have here is if you're going to do this, get a block from underneath your kickstand. You want to be in, you don't want to be in, uh, soft ground with your kickstand uh, if it gets cold at night you could always start the bike up it'll stay warm for a while now this particular tarp has got a reflective side and then a regular plastic side if you want to reflect heat back to you and you know if it's going to be cooler use the reflective side on the inside if you want to do the opposite and reflect heat away, then put the reflective surface facing outward. Uh, what else? If there is no wind, you're not expecting any wind, or, or I mean, generally speaking, you're going to want you're going to want this angled face facing to the west because that's where weather normally will come in from. Uh, you know, if the weather's coming in from this side, you're going to get wet, even if we even if we run another bungee through here, down the side. So, anyway, uh, if you expect absolutely no weather or wind or anything at all, it's kind of nice to put this face uh, facing the sunrise in the east. That way, if it got a little chilly at night, that's gonna warm you up in the morning hours. You know, conversely, if you want to sleep in, put the bike as a as a block to the east, and that way you'll have pretty reasonable shade in there from the bike. But in general, that's going to be quite a bit of space. Like I said, you get another tarp, put it down on the ground. Um, just just an idea. You know, it's a possibility as opposed to carrying. I mean, a minimum a minimalist tent. Of any quality is, 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 is you know with poles and and stakes is you know that runs what five you know five and a half pounds if you're lucky for a lightweight backpacking you know type deal I just assume carry two two uh, two tarps doesn't take nearly as much space that's a big concern as well so just a little bit of thought work on your own a little bit but uh, not too bad here at Walmart 48 cents a pop for these metal ones those will work fine you do not want plastic uh, these at 97 cents those are pretty nice I'd probably go with those if I didn't already have some. A little bit heavier, but uh, definitely going to get in the, in the ground pretty well. 
as far as the tarp goes. $11.76. This one has the reflective coating on it. All right. Let's see what size it is. It's 86, 86 inches, or 83 inches, sorry, by 59 inches. Nice thing about the reflective coating is it will reflect heat back into you, or you can turn it around and have heat reflected away in the summer. Definitely the way to go. So what do you uh, call it? Twelve dollars, and then for the for the metal stakes, if you go a dollar a piece, times four for the for the nail type. 